Hi, this is a training video from Growth Drive about how to prioritize execution sprints, increase strategic capacity, right? So you've run analysis with the CEO and perhaps their senior leadership team. Now we need to convert that analysis into a strategic plan. And what we're talking about here is design. This is designing a strategy, redesigning the business so that it can move from where it is today to where the CEO wants to be tomorrow. And we're focusing specifically on sprints. Sprints are individual projects that you will help the senior leadership team execute as they increase strategic capacity. And these are prioritized in line with helping you achieve the top three CEO goals. Now, prioritizing these tasks is natively built into the three dimensions of growth. So we move through the three dimensions as phases of the engagement. However, moving, creating strength, right? Strategic capacity in one dimension necessarily impacts, improves the other two. That's why they're dimensions and not phases. And the name of the game, 62% of CEOs want to increase revenues and you as a growth driver are able to do that while also making the purposeful link between revenues and their the value of the business. Now, the three dimensions of growth, quick refresher. We start by creating predictable profits and cash flow. This is the launch pad for growth. This also creates a business that is easier to run from which the founder, the CEO, your client has operational freedom, right? They are having, they, it's more fun to run the business. We then move into predictable growth. But remember, when you create strategic capacity, high strategic capacity in the first dimension, you will start to unlock growth. It happens almost automatically, okay? Then we can move purposefully into growth and invest time and treasure on that dimension. And that is what most CEOs get out of bed wanting to do in the morning. So, Let's jump into clarity, which is growth drive strategic capacity analysis and see how this is done. So I'm going to click here. I'm in my dashboard. I'm clicking on reports and I'm going to pull up Ridge specialty tooling, clarity level two, right? We've completed that analysis and let's, let's look at what we're seeing. All right. So I'm in dimension one. We're going to start. Now, this is what we mean by natively exists natively in the system. You do not need to wonder about the priority of these of these sprints. So guys, there's a lot of training available out there. We'll get to that in a sec, but we're going to start. We always start with effective senior leadership because this is about goal setting. It is about vision, mission, and strategy. Now, these are gears in the business engine. And as such, there may be an aspect of an effective senior leadership team that you believe belongs here. It is in all likelihood, We've yet to find a hole in the armor. It in all likelihood in another growth driving objective. For example, compensation, right? Not here. So we're going to start with effective senior leadership. And what you are going to want to do is make sure that your client, let's see, it's going to be a mostly false, more true than not. Okay, so let's just say this is a more typical company, right? They have a score of 49 for this growth driving objective. These are the key results that need to be in place to say that we've achieved this growth driving objective. Now, if our objective is to get to a 70, right? That's a C score, right? A, a C grade. We need to have, we need to be top of the charts. I'm selecting these at random to illustrate the point. Okay. And then we need to be more true than not. There we go. And we are at, we've cracked the 70 level. All right. Three of the seven here, about a third or a little under half, right? Are at the top mark. And the rest are at the second mark. To get to an 87, we're going to need to add more strategic capacity. Okay, you can see the score changing as we go through it. The next, the way you move through this is you would then just simply click next. What should we work on next, boss? We're going to work on people. We've now created an effective senior leadership team and a business that can run smoothly in the CEO's absence. Now we need to make sure we have an effective senior leadership, an effective workforce, that they are productive, right? We're getting high efficiency and loyal, that we have low turnover. Those are good things, right? If you click next, you want to know how to what the next thing you're going to do in your engagement? Click next. We're just moving across here. High percentage of recurring revenues, margins, financial reporting processes. Now, many of these will have some 
strength. They will have moderate or even high strategic capacity when you arrive on the scene. Great. Let's audit it. Make sure that we are buttoned up and move to the next one, right? This is how you build sprints. And let's go back to effective senior leadership. What you will note is that if we took two weeks to create, to, to reach each of these key results, we're two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, and 12, 14, and a little over a quarter, one quarter, three months, 90 days from now, right? Imagine, Madam CEO, if 90 days from now, you had a business that would run smoothly in your absence. That's how it works, built in natively. Don't worry about prioritizing. It's already done. It's built in. Now, let's talk, uh, let's talk a little bit about how you can learn this for yourself. There is training, guys. There are templates, tools, many of them free. The more important ones, obviously, available to growth drivers, to members of the community. There, are, there is training on an ongoing basis. The next launch course through which you can use live, learn these concepts is here coming up in September. And then we also have the Fearless Business Advisor course. These are facilitation skills for standing in front of your clients and leading, deploying the execution leadership system and teaching them to be better at running their own business, teaching them how to take it to the next level. Okay. Hope this helps. We're always here to answer questions. Thank you.